place today <clears throat> and then I've got to go into work later this afternoon let's get this gate it's it tight in here to that truck, I think. Oh, sheep, that's tight. All right, let's go get some coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee makes the world go round. Look at that lineup of cars out there. The drive through. I think I'm going inside. Gotta have a mask around here. There's one. Okay, not waiting any lineup like that. Be here all day. That actually was, uh, that was no quicker going inside. And you know, by the time I went in and was standing in line, look, look outside. There's no line left. There's nothing. It was a mistake. <laughs> I thought that it would be quicker to go inside, but they clearly, when you go into a place and it's got a big line, they clearly like prioritize the drive-through line versus the inside line. So, you know, by the time I was in there and asked for my order, which I ordered online, my wife ordered it, Sam ordered it before I even got here, but it's clear that when you go into a building, even when the outside has a huge line and the inside has no line, it will still take you just as long inside because they're clearly prioritizing the drive through line, which makes sense. They're busy. They want to get that line cleared out. It's just funny how you're like, oh, I'll go inside. It'll be quicker. Your mind tells you that because you see a big line outside, a small line inside, but that's just not always the case as it was for this case. Took it right back out. That yummy drink. Yeah. What are you trying to do with that, sweetheart? Oh, you're trying to put it in there. Mm-hmm. You did it. You did it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just on my break from some work. Just, just at work. Taking a good old 15. Um. We are coming to the end of a heat wave that we have been enduring here in uh, coastal British Columbia. And I think it goes all the way to Alberta and 
crazy temperatures all the way out to Alberta. And uh, I think today is like the last really warm day. And now we're going back to regular summer temps. Oh, that breeze feels so good. A wind is moving in. Mount Perfo over there with the sun setting. Even the AC couldn't keep up. So like it was hot for this area and humid, like sticky. I've lived in, in two places uh, with the same kind of weather. Uh, I lived in Ontario where it got hot and humid, but not quite as hot as when I lived in California, but definitely more humid where California was very dry when I lived there. Very dry, dry heat burns you, burns you real bad. Ontario, it's stuck to you. It's stuck right onto your skin and your clothes. The weather we've had here over the last four or five days has been a combination of the two, humid and burning hot. And I'm done with it. And I'm sure everybody else is done with it too. Uh, I've just been putting off everything in fear of doing it in the scorching heat. There's nothing worse than feeling uh, like heat stroke. I've landscaped for many years and I've had heat stroke many times and never has it been as hot as it be, has been this week. So shout out to all the people working outdoors in this crazy, crazy temperature. Man, that is, that's hard stuff. And I hope that you drank lots of water and you know, sat in the shade when you could, maybe you didn't push yourself too hard. Cause that stuff, that, that heat makes you sick. Like, like you've never felt sick before and the head, headache gets the last days, man. You know, and the, and the only cure is to drink water, but you're so dehydrated and sunstroking that drinking water makes you feel sick. So you're almost like your body's telling you not to drink it, even though that's what it needs. You know, little sips of, of not, you know, your mind tells you ice cold because it's refreshing, but maybe not quite ice cold water. Get that in your gullet, get it into your system, help you fight some of that heat stroke. Hopefully the kids and I can get out to the river tomorrow, man. The river would be great. They've locked, my place, they, there's gates down to the river that they've locked up so you can't drive down, you gotta walk down. That makes it hard with a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and then a five-year-old. Because it's like also a steep hill. So going down is not too bad. Coming up will be a nightmare, but hopefully we can make that, that, uh, that journey down to the river. Take the dog, he'd probably, love a cool swim he's not much of a a water loving dog but you know i've been splashing water on him and he's been welcoming it because it's so gross out anywhere else everybody living somewhere where the heat is just out of control this year you know just take it easy don't push yourself drink that water keep hydrated and you'll get through it okay I got just a few minutes to eat something and get back to work. Holla, er, holla, later.